Level up, hey, level up. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm super excited. I'm back with a wig review. It's been quite a few months. I uh, did my first ever wig review. It was a wig I brought off Amazon, and I've done a review on like hair, on a bundle and stuff made into a wig, but this is officially just the wig review. My second one, I'll have my first one I did, which was an Amazon wig, linked down below for you guys if you guys didn't see it. But today's uh, wig review is going to be a wig I brought from my local beauty supply store, and it's the Sensational Cloud9 Multi-Parting Swiss Lace Wig, 100% Premium Fiber. I needed a new wig, as you guys know, I'm in the process of moving back to New Jersey, so I'm trying to move everything back, I didn't expect to move back so soon. So long story short, I didn't bring my wigs with me, and I don't want to walk around with like crappy wigs, and then the wig I had before, the blonde curly one, that was absolutely stunning, um, the hair wasn't taken care of, the salon I went to, they just really messed it up, and they weren't careful with it, they were very careless, and they didn't care. So, um, I was like, okay, I need a new wig, so I went to the, my local beauty supply store with my sister, and I found this one, but I don't want the intro to be too chatty. When I do my reviews, I like to do a first impression, I film a first impression, and then my review, my final review, I get into that. So I'm going to show you guys the first impression when I first tried my uh, wig on. Alright guys, so I'm going to be giving you guys the first impression. So this is what the hair looks like on the off. So it's not bone straight, it feels like a kinky straight, like there's a little texture to it, it looks like it. So it looks a little more human, but it is synthetic. At first I thought it was like a synthetic human blend, but I'm getting more synthetic vibes. It's a really beautiful color, it's like a burgundy, purple. This is what it looks like. The part itself is pretty nice. Um, it didn't come with bleach knots. You could bleach it, but I'm not. I don't really care. I usually put foundation. It looks fine. Um, as far as the middle part, it looks pretty natural. Um, I have it a little messy because I feel like when it doesn't look so straight and like perfect, it doesn't. It looks more natural when it's not straight or perfect. So when it's like this, it's like it looks a little more natural. So let me get closer. It feels. It looks good. I think I didn't add anything to it. But like I said, you could make it look um, like it's from your own hair, make it look a little more natural, but I'm going to do that after I do my thing and wash it and stuff. But I just wanted to show you guys, because it is already getting a little knotty at the bottom, like in the back. And all I did was take it out of the packaging and put it on. So, that was a little red flag for as expensive as this is. Usually with my wigs or bundles that I get, I usually do have to wash them first and then I see like the true form, the texture, and it looks a lot better. So that's what I'm going to do tonight, but I'm just running out, so I just wanted to show you guys and just see how it feels and can you wear it straight out of the box. The answer is no, I don't think so, just because it doesn't, the hair, I don't like the way it feels. I don't like wigs fresh out of the box as it is. Um, I've yet to find a wig that I feel like you can just buy from the store and wear it and look good in it. So yeah, I'm going to wash it, do, the th do my thing. Show you guys how I tweeze the hairline and everything. So I'll see you guys in the next clip. <laughs> Alright guys, so I'm back. I just want to give you guys an update before I do my thing and uh, tweak this wig. I didn't even attempt to lay it right. I just threw it on with the clips. But we will get into what the wig looks like exactly, um, you know, when we get to the review part. So like I said, I was going to wash it. I did wash it. I let it air dry overnight. It's not recommended to use heat. So this is what it looks like. There's a little bit of frizz. A little flyaways from the side you guys can see right there so I am going to on low heat I'm going to uh, straighten it and then I think I'm gonna do some pin curls but I want to see what it looks like because I don't want to go out with it bushy like this like this is not cute this is just what it looks like there's some texture it's a little fluffy it looks a little more natural but I like bone straight hair so I just want to show you guys what it looks like um, but yeah, I will come back and show you guys what I did to it and give you guys a full detail review. Okay guys, so that was my first impression and my little review after it. And I just wanted to make sure I documented everything that I did to get the wig to look like this. I'm obsessed with it. It's so silky as you guys can see, gliding through my hands. Silky and smooth. And it's more toned down. Like when I first had it, it was bushy. I wore it straight out of the box just because I was really impatient and I was ready to get my hair back. It's hot up here. Yeah, I was just wearing it. I was like, oh no, I gotta fix it. So, um, like I said, I washed it. I let it air dry. And then I straightened half of my hair and I could just tell the difference. Like half of it was so nice and silky. And then the other half, you could tell, it was just air dried. It looked like it was blow dried. So it looked more realistic because it had some texture. But I just like the silky straight hair. So when I straightened it, I used my Tresemme Heat uh, Protection Spray. I put half up, half down. 
sprayed a little bit, brushed it through, and then I made sure it dried just because this is, is synthetic. And if I just went straight over it with the flat iron, while I was a little damp, it would have had that sizzling smell and it would have stuck to the flat iron, kind of melted and smelled burnt. So it just wouldn't have been cute at all or smelled cute. <laughs> so yeah, I just did the uh, chase method with the rat tail comb and the straightener and I just straightened it and it came out super nice and silky like you guys can see. So I have yet to come across a wig that I feel is good enough to wear just straight out of the box, whether it's washing it and straightening it or having to pluck the hairline and stuff, which is fine. Um, those type of wigs are more expensive anyway. So this, I got this one. It was $85. I said that's so weird, but it was $85, almost $100. And I would definitely just say that it's worth it right off the bat, guys. So I'm not going to tweeze it anymore. If I did, I feel like I would be over tweezing it. So this is what the part looks like. And I feel like it looks really natural. And the only thing I don't like is just me. My baby hair grows out so far, I'm actually about to shave it. And I'm still learning how to lay a wig, guys. Bear with me. But, um, yeah, I think I'm going to shave it just because it comes out so far and it doesn't look, you know, natural. It doesn't help blend in and look the best. But I like it. I got a lot of compliments. I went to the DMV because I had to get my jersey license. And the girl um, behind the counter, she was, I love your hair. I was like, I was like, thank you. It was such a compliment. It made me feel so nice just because I was like, I need to fix this hair, I don't know how it's going to look, but I got complimented, so I was like, thank you. <laughs> so on the back, it says, it's a soft, comfortable Swiss lace material. I think it is very soft, very comfortable. Um, you can change styles frequently and quickly. Um, I feel like you can um, when it's glued down properly, and if I didn't have my baby hair, I could definitely rock a half up, half down. I think I'm going to film a video on different hairstyles you can do with the lace wig. Let me know if you guys are interested. It'll, it probably will be up in like the next two weeks if you guys do want me to film that. If you let me know in the comments down below. Just so I can master laying down a wig nicely and then going in with hairstyles. So let me know if that's something you would like to see. And then it's a protective style. No leave out necessary. I hate leave out. I think that's just so dumb. It doesn't look natural. Um, especially after the first day. Because yeah, if you get your hair pressed and it lays down like your wig. But between sweating and humidity, it looks puffy. And I've never seen a good leave out past the first day. So I like that I have all my hair protected in braids underneath. Um, hand tied lace wig with pre plucked parting. Yes, definitely. That's why I said I'm not going to do any additional parting, which I love. Um, it is a middle part, but I just clipped it in. Um, my way to have a side part. I wasn't digging the middle part. I feel like it just brings out my face. Like I have chubby cheeks, so I already have like a round face. So I feel like it just enhances it. Not a fan of it. So I styled and laid the part to the side. I just, you know, instead of clip it in here I just moved it over and it looks just as good I feel like so that's what I do like uh baby hairs along the nape there is baby hairs but I think like baby hairs just look so unnatural and they're not cute I'm not a fan of them so um I just left it tucked back but there is some baby hairs when I um was combing it out I was like where are these short hairs I was like oh, okay it comes with baby hairs I was so eager to get it out of the packaging I didn't read the back of it but there is baby hairs so if you like to lay your baby hairs um, it does come with that and then very secure six combs plus adjustable straps, which I love this wig is not going anywhere It is so secure you get four clips in the front two clips in the back to secure it And then you like it says the adjustable strap So I leave it how it came the adjustable straps is good enough for my big head and um, the clips I have all four clipped it in the front and the two in the back. I love clips I feel like it just makes sure my wig isn't going anywhere and then it's glued on top of that So this wig is secure and then I like that it also tells you how to maintain your wig. So maintenance, fill a basin with cool or with warm water, add a small amount of mild shampoo, swish the wig gently in the basin, rinse thoroughly in cool water using a towel, lightly blot excess water and let drip dry, and then do not brush, blow dry, or heat style while wet. Because it is synthetic, you don't want to get that burnt smell sizzling, you don't want to melt or mess up your wig that she just paid for. So that's what I did, like I said, after I washed it. Um, I just washed it normally, I shampooed it, and then I do deep condition my wigs just so it can smell good and just be really soft. So I will have that video, I actually filmed that a few months ago. I sh Maybe I'll do an updated video if you guys want me to um, on how I wash my wigs. So that will be linked down below in the description box for you guys. Like I said, I really love this unit. I feel like it's definitely worth the $85. Even if it was $100, I would get it. I feel like this wig will definitely last a long time with proper maintenance. And I don't wash my hair, um, my wigs, I mean, every week and stuff or every other week. Maybe like once a month, every other month. It depends on how often I'm wearing that wig, how often am I styling it. And like curly hair wigs are more maintenance, especially if it's human hair because I'm constantly putting 
product in it and refreshing it so this way i probably won't have to wash it for another three months but i do plan on buying some more wigs because i like to switch it up but if you're looking for just a nice pretty sleek straight wig that you can wear this is it i'm obsessed with it guys i absolutely love it i will have the entire specs and the description down below the color i will link the website for you guys the direct link and the website if you want to look up some other wigs by the brand. Um, when I looked up reviews on whether or not I should get this. Because I had intended to get my hair braided. But like I just like my wigs and I was missing it. So when before we went into the hair store I was looking up reviews. And the reviews were mixed. Some people liked it. Some people didn't. But I feel like this is a really good beginner wig. If you're just getting into wigs. Because there's no extra maintenance that you have to do on it. You don't have to pluck the hairline. You don't have to tweeze anything. Because it's already done for you. You just simply wash it let it air dry straighten it really quick and then bam it's ready to go so I feel like this is a really nice beginner friendly wig pretty affordable compared to other wigs that especially other lace wig fronts so this has everything done that you need to do so I give it my stamp of sorry my cameras are recording I'm full on um, storage so yeah like I said I definitely recommend it that is going to be all for this video thank you guys so much for watching like I said I'll have everything that you need to know in the description box down below and I'll catch you guys in my next one Bye guys. See you guys tomorrow exactly. Um, what I did to it. Can you not? A mom. That's what I had to say. <sighs> okay. I'm keeping that in. Look at my pet face. Ew. It's just an angle. Ew, let me get closer. Hi. I'm keeping this in too. You better. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm very excited. I am back with a wig review. I've only done one before and it's a wig I brought off Amazon. Oh, that's not cute. Nails are wet. Yeah. Alright guys, so this is... Talk on it. Talk. I'm going to keep it in. Alright, so this is the side I straightened, obviously. And this is the side that I didn't. So even though wigs... <laughs> You're so annoying. I'm supposed to be too chatty, so I, uh, my reviews, if you guys are new here, I, when I do my reviews, 